Well, hello and welcome. It's Wednesday and it's art time with Eco Rabbit. I am Jesse Craig, creator of Crispy Kill Studios and numerous projects that soon will be one day finished and complete, which if you're interested in are located at charismakills.com along with all the little social media links yeah social media yeah whatever it is what it is right um let's see we have been away um missed wednesday no missed monday monday uh all i can say is i've been out leveling up in real life and you know, I suggest that you do that yourself sometimes. Get away from the computer. Get out of the house. Turn the damn cell phone off. Put it in your pocket something. And just enjoy what's out there. Especially if you're an artist. If you're an artist or you're practicing to be an artist. Drawing from life is one of the most beneficial things that you could do. Grab a sketch pad, grab a pencil, pen, whatever. Go outside, have a seat. Observe the world, draw what you see. Well, that's my philosophical talk for today. Um, we're going to get back to Apocalypse Pizza, the comic that I was working on for the past few sessions uh i'm going to revisit one of the pages that i've inked because there's not enough i decided i was just gonna ah uh, you know what let's think about it let's think about it. let's ink and color at the same time maybe do whatever but here we go let's switch on over to the old art board hey there we are and everything's been updated uploaded rounded off reset recap uh smothered scuttered scattered and snushed so we shouldn't have any problems cross your fingers all right i went ahead and opened up pop that page so i could sample colors pop Excuse me. Let's see where we're at. I just transferred this from Procreate to Clip Paint. Or is it Clip Studio? Nah, whatever it is. All right. So let's see what layer. Push button. Okay. It's on this bizarre 50% green layer that I don't know why. But that green layer appears when you transfer from Procreate to Clip Paint, Clip Studio, whatever. All right. Well, should we start with coloring? Let's go ahead and start with coloring. Although. Yes, let's start with coloring. Okay. Let's call this layer. Colors. Let's be more specific. Um, character colors. There we go. Done. And we'll do background colors on a separate layer. Uh, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. All right. Also, you know how I do. I grab a mid-tone, fill in. So let me go ahead and just grab a mid-tone from that. Beep, 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 beep. Yep. Switch over to here. All right. Let's start. I'm going to fill in the majority of it here. Ooh. And fill her in. 
I still haven't done that thing where I can, where it will show you the cursor. I need to work on that. All right, I'm gonna just fill in, fill in massive chunks. I don't know what the hell just happened there. All right. Oh, how about that pretzel rocks tonight, huh? So, as I was saying in the intro, I've uh, been taking the opportunity to level up in real life. And that's not mine. I actually took, I actually, I'm quoting someone, uh, a YouTuber I watch occasionally. Ace Videos. That's what it's called. He's an outdoor guy. Fishes. Cooks. Cooks and fishes. At the same time. It's great. And he's really pleasant to watch. Uh, I don't, obviously I don't know him in real life. So I can't vouch for him. But on his stream. He doesn't say... Not a nary a foul word. He doesn't say anything negative about anyone. It's very polite. And you might be thinking, what? what? On YouTube? How's that? Well, yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. Why does that keep... <laughs> Let's see. Several times I've tried to quit using profanity, but it never works. I, I don't know. You know, it, it feels like if my back and knees would stop hurting all the time, I could probably stop cursing. All right. Poor old iPad. I think it's, I think it's not long for this world. Oh, I guess I should finish explaining myself about this whole outdoor thing. Um, well, I started a little garden. And I'm going to try to make it a big garden. Me and the whole fam is involved in it. And. Oh, when we get it all set up, we're also going to get some bees we're going to be doing honey. All kinds of stuff. You know, and, and stuff. Stuff that doesn't require you to be on the phone. Doesn't require you to be on the computer. I don't know why the hell it keeps doing that. Am I hitting something? Anyway. Okay. Is it all filled? It looks like it's all filled. So let's move over to the next character. And let's grab a midtone. Who's next? Alright, the Holy Slayer is next. So let's grab the midtone for the Holy Slayer. I'm going to go right here. Yeah. All right. Midtones in there. Well, we need another midtone because uh, I don't remember what all I had on him with this color. I think these gloves.
All right. All right. Got that. Uh oh, let's do this. For the leather cowly thing. I don't know what to call it. Comes down. Right here. All right. Let's grab mid tone for that coach. All right, fill this coat in. Code is filled in. Alright, I know the belts and the armor are not part of the the code, but so yeah, today when we were at the store getting stuff. I uh I got a pair of you wouldn't believe it, I got a pair of overalls, bib overalls, so I can to work out in the yard in. And when I put them on and I looked, I looked in the mirror and I was like I was like, wow, I look just like my great uncle, great uncle Carl, I believe it. He is my great uncle, yeah. Who used to own a farm. I don't know if I looked exactly like it, but it was uh, very reminiscent. Oh, I also filmed some of the process, too, so I'm considering... Um, doing a second little YouTube channel where you see the progress of my real life leveling up. All right. Just grab the color for those leg plates. Looks like we got some folks out there in the audience tonight watching. If you're out there, hello and thank you for watching. Neurodancer, if you're one of those, I know that you like to just have it on the background. So if you're there and you're watching in the background, don't forget tomorrow's Usagi Day. We've been playing the Usagi Ojimbo role playing game here at the house. And it's been fun. Wait, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> well, the book is not um, Why does it keep doing that? That's aggravating. Anyway, the book the the book is not the best of instruction uh, <laughs> materials. But once you get it, 
it's actually a pretty damn easy game. It's just they make it hard in their explanation. Um, so I give Jimbo second edition. My Sanguine, Sanguine game, Sanguine press. I'm not sure. <clears throat> All right. Okay, let's grab the mid off of that armor. Is there a boop? Oh, got it. Boop, oh, got it. Get it in here. Oh no, one more thing. Let's grab the midtones off of that belt. There we go. I might just. Yeah. That's gonna go. That's gonna go a shade faster here. If you're not familiar with Usagi Ojimbo, which I can't believe anyone wouldn't be. Um, Usagi is an old comic from the 80s. Uh, anthropomorphic comic. When, when the fuzzy anthropomorphic cartoon stuff, especially comics, were popular. Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, there was one Hamster Vice. There was, you know, well, you all know Cerberus. Well, maybe you don't, but anyway, there's Cerberus. Um, Fish Police, Radioactive Breeder, Adolescent Bobcat Boxers. I think it's the other one. Which Boris the Bear absolutely hated. I, I didn't even know that was real until... <laughs> until I saw it. But Usagi Ojimbo is by Stan Sakai. And... Stan does an excellent job. Alright, I think that's all the midtones. Several comic publishers have um, printed Usagi over the years. I believe the first one was it's called Albedo. I believe there's also one called Critters. Whoa, not right, not right. You gotta fix that color. All right, let's grab a mid off of the bike. No, no, we got a mid on the bike already on that page. All right. Then, of course, Dark, Dark Horse Comics and IDW is doing it now, and I'm sure I've left out a few. But it's like he's great. Uh, it's a historical thing. Even though it's uh, anthropomorphic animals, uh, Stan takes it really serious. And... There's a lot of historical accuracy in it. Obviously lots of myth. It's a good, clean, fun comic if you ever get the chance to read it. Um, 
Stan is great with keeping his stories tight to the point. But yet still being still having some some depth really keeps you in the story he does. Unfortunately, I may have mentioned this before. My local comic shop is closed. So I am about eight issues behind or six issues behind. On Usagi. And those damn comics. They go up in price really fast. So unfortunately. I will probably never get first editions of those. And it's a shame because all my other ones are first editions. But. It's alright. I guess. Let's put the mids down here on Mad Dog. What's up, dog? All right. Oh, and if you've missed the weird test plays, um, they're not over. They're just on like a little hiatus. Um, not even a hiatus, really. We just, uh, we skipped out this week because the some of the players were on vacation. So that's going to be back next week. Then I pretty much decided after that. I will likely take about a, a month off. Before we run some more or stream some more test plays. So that I can. Get to work on. I can focus a lot more on the book. Chapter 1. Is basically done. Chapter 2. Is basically done. I just need to get. <sighs> Scrap mid tones on this cloth. Well, this is only one tone on the cloth. Okay. Oh, damn it. So chapter one is, chapter one is the rules. It is about is it 12 pages, 15 pages maybe. But most of it is, hey, this is a role-playing game. This is how you play a role-playing game. Hey, this is dice. This is how you use the dice. So the last few pages are actually the rules, and it's it's my hope that once you read the end of the end section of chapter one, that you will be able to grab some dice and a character and start playing. Which so far that is the case with all the new playtesters and stuff. So. What the hell just happened? The iPad is practically fully charged. All right. Um, chapter three. Oh, chapter two. I got ahead of myself. Chapter two is characters and character creation, which that's been streamlined a good deal, and. Chapter 3 or the more in-depth rules like um, movement and doing things like lifting stuff and 
shit like that. You know what I'm talking about. I actually have not gotten a lot of work done on it lately. So... There's something I need to do. I just need to get a schedule. Since I have so much that I'm doing now, I really need to get a schedule. That includes all the activities I'm doing. All right. This mad dog is going to need quite a bit of work. All this might have cut the mustard when it was black and white. But now that it's color, I'm going to have to fix some details. All right. All of the mids are in. So let's switch over here and grab... I don't know. I think we can make up our own. I don't think we actually need to. As long as those are in, I can, I can make it. Okay. All right. So, let's layer lock. I'm going to go ahead and do the, do the colors on Mad Dogs cloak here there we go of course I have to come back and tighten that up a bit let's tighten it up hey right now all right. Hit these little details. All right. Let me grab the color off of these little grilly things. Fill those in. Well, I'll make a pretty good time tonight. All right. Let's go ahead and fix these. Return these gun barrels to the appropriate color. All right. Tires, let's grab the color off the tires. Color is grab, man. All right. Grab the color for these tires boom it's in there all right these little vent colors again let's grab mad dog's color
So if you haven't, if you're not quite familiar what's going on, or if you need a refresher course, this is one of the last pages before the big fight with the Holy Slayer. So Mad Dog is jumping the snowy hill and he's going over the Holy Slayer's head. And when he hits the ground, they start fighting in a, in a melee. The last one, but I like that piece, that centerpiece on the pike. I don't know why. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, looks like I need to come up with some color for that grill. Um, why not? Let's just take that color. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the bike has got a grimace or something there. Grr. You know what? I'm okay with it too. Well, I am a cartoonist. So. All right. Let's grab. Let's come up with a darker color for. These little splotches. May have to just go in manually instead of tippy tacking here. There we go. Tippy tacking, yep. All right, let's see what color I did those. I know they are separate colors, so let's grab that color. Get that going. Ah, hell, let's use the old Tiki Tacker tool, whatever it is. What do you ever want? All right. <clears throat> So the stuff that's coming off of the front of the bike. Wow. Excuse me. Uh, as I said, I was working in outside today, so I'm a little tired. Get a sip of water. Ah, there we go. I, got, I think I got really dehydrated. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some shadows. Let's make a shadow layer. Shadow layer. Let's call it that. Shadows. Let's call it Shadows 1 for Shadows on panel 1. All right, let's switch over to Absolute Black. Wait, how can we see? Well, it's all right. It's all right. Let me get this in here and then I will show you how you will see. Uh, you know, I'm 
just gonna grab this whole damn thing here. Let that fall into the black. Uh, grab this. And now we drop the opacity. We'll respect my opacity. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, damn. All right. Let's get these shadows here on Mad Dog's armor. Now. Let's go on the. And the cloak. There, of course, are different ways to do shadows, and this is not the most accurate, but it's all right because it's a cartoon, and I'm okay with it. Like you could use the colors con contrasting color, but do like a do a dark value of it, I suppose is the word. But I don't know, that never really looked right to me. I don't know why, because I, it never really looked right when I did it. So maybe I was doing something wrong, but... <clears throat> you know? Alright, let's go with the... Let's make another layer for the... We'll call it the, we'll call it the highs, call it highs, one, because it has, it has one, all right, you know what, let's just go ahead on the character layer and do it and see how. I'd like to do it with the watercolor brush. So I just want to hit up here. Brush is too big, of course. So a little big. I already do. Okay. I like to do it with these brush, almost like brush strokes in it. I really get it. I really like these color, the color play. There we go. Oh, tree outside his bedroom window. Alright, I'm not going to go deep heavy on here because I'm just going to let it lightly blend right there. Alright, let's get... Let's get some on these tires and maybe like... Maybe like right. So we can just show. Try to add a little bit of. Artificial depth here. Alright. 
Maybe even a touch there. Here. All right. Um, I'm going to go back to the shadow layer and I'm going to give it a little bit of the old Gaussian. The old Gaussian blur. Just to make it a little less hard on the edges. There we go. There we go. Now, like I said, the little parts splashing around the front. That's snow. <clears throat> I'll, I'll do those later when I do the background. Because I may do an entire new layer for the foreground snow. Okay. Let us grab some colors off of old... Specifically, pop for his jingle bells. I'm sassing with jingle bells. It's just that damn good. Whoa, we are on the wrong layer. Wrong layer. Let's go back to character colors layer. There we go. Get these jingle bells in. Is that all of them? Yep. Alright, let's grab the color for the zipper. Let's get the zipper in there. Poop. Alright. Uh oh, what do we got? Discord just went off. Let's get a color for these eyes. We'll go with a cream. Sort of cream color. Just enough yellow in it. There we go. Pow. Let's catch this one. Pow. Let's go a little darker. I don't know if the other colors are like this for the eyes, but I think I'm going to go back and make them that way. All right. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and put... I'm going to go ahead and put some shadow. I mean, the let's go ahead and put the highs in here right now. Let's give that a good blend. Don't worry, we'll fix that. Happy little mask. Happy little mask. Alright, let's get... Thank you. 
Just those jingle bells there. Jingle bells have been got. Shoulders. Maybe just a little bit along the edge of the... I don't know what you call that. It's like what would be on a monk's robe. All right. Let's get all this. On the leg here, this leg right there. Let's get on the little armor, the little, the little foot armor. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we can go to shadows now. Get that filled in. You know, I need to make a separate layer for the shadows on this one. You make the shadows too. So I can control the blur and stuff without messing up the other one. Shadows. Duh. Done. Alright, now, now I'm good. Here we go. Well, of course, this is one great big shadow here. Right there. Right there. Here. All right, go ahead and adjust the opacity now. All right, there we go. Let's fix this on that side. On that side, so we can switch over to the pen tool now so we can get a little woo look at that size of that brush there we go a little more manageable manageable Let's get these in here.
All right. Let's give him a bit of a Gaussian blur. I think it came out pretty good. Filter. Blur. Gaussian. Okay. Dig that. Alright, let's do old Mad Dog over here on his bike. Hmm. This is going to be a little messy. What time is it? Oh, we better not start him. We are almost out of time. But let's go ahead and save. Alright, one more look. The bike, I think the bike's looking nice. The jump. Our little Holy Slayer here. Looking pretty good. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. We could put some... Let's go all white. Let's go to the layer that I made for highs. Okay. <clears throat> put just little dots. Let's get some white. So I'm gonna run one little thin squiggly line. There we go. All right. Should do I need to do it up here too? Probably. Let's just give some highlights. Like right there. There. Uh, maybe a little thin line here to help with that illusion. drop there 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 here here all right I think that's good <clears throat> excuse me all right so let's save it again save All right, well, got our hour in today. Thanks to my wife, Sherry. Forces, forces me to stay on it. Cracking the whip. Which is not that I don't want to stream, it's just it, it forget it, it gets it gets past my mind sometimes. Uh, until I remember, and then, it, then of course... It'll be something like 8 o'clock at night. But, oh well. I do enjoy spending time with everyone. And doing the art. Don't forget, you can watch edited versions of these videos on our YouTube channel. That is Charisma Kills TV. You can also catch other charisma kill studios projects and our social media links on charisma kills.com tuesdays at 7 eastern we do test plays we stream test plays 
on YouTube on United Adventure Company YouTube channel. Uh, stream Test Plays of Weird, which is a horror-based role-playing game that I'm creating, which is almost done. Fingers crossed. And I can't think of anything else. Other than thank you and good night. And Neurodancer, if you're out there listening, don't forget tomorrow is Usagi Ojimbo Day. Rabbit, rabbit ears, you see. <sighs> oh, boy, I'm tired. It's time to do some relaxation. See you Monday.